Good morning, everybody. Thank God for another day among the land of the living. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. We serve an awesome God, and we serve a God that tells us what's going to happen before it happens. Amen. We he, Look, the God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the only God. He's the only God that I know that tells us exactly what's going to happen before it happened. And he, he's batting a thousand. He has not been wrong yet. So we see things continuing to happen um, that the Bible says would happen. And one thing I saw today, I wanted to share this article with you, a head headline here. And I, I, I think this could end up being something eventually. When you read in Ezekiel 38, it talks about 38, 39, it talks about Gog, the leader of Magog, or the chief prince of Magog, and um, of Meshach and Tubal, and, and we read about this final invasion, which I believe will be led by the Antichrist, which is Gog, the leader, um, you know, that invades, that leads that coalition of nations that invades Israel in, in the last days. And I believe that does end up being the final battle that Jesus comes back to fight and to um, help fight for Israel. But when you read about this, it says that he, God puts a hook in his jaw and, and they come back to take a spoil and a booty. And it says they come for silver and gold. Now, some um, teachers teach that, you know, he used that terminology back then be, so they would understand. Because if he had talked about, you know, he talks about the different weapons that will be used. And you always see, uh, you know, horses and bucklers and shields and swords. You don't hear about you know, weapons of mass destruction like nuclear bombs and, and airplanes firing missiles and, you know, all the newer technology. You hear about the older um, weapons that they had. But one thing about it is it says that they'll come upon the mountains, not up in the air. But when you think about upon, you'll see that invasion come on horses, on foot. Um, so they'll be on the mountains. So anyways, but this article says, it, this is the heading of it. It says, the headline, 1,400-year-old gold coins discovered in northern Israel. And there's some, there's some in time, um, you know, prophecy teachers that teach that this is literal, that they're going to come for gold and, and silver. It's not, you know, gas and natural energy and natural resources um, could be a part of it. But it specifically says for gold and silver. And so when I saw this pop up, and I know there's certain teachers that believe um, that it's literally going to be for gold and silver. And so when I saw this, 1,400-year-old gold coins discovered in northern Israel in some different I've seen a few of these articles um, I believe that you know there is going to be a, a discovery of a lot of silver and gold and I believe that it could be literal and that could be what that spoil and that booty is that they come for the hook and the jaw um, it, yes it could be gas it could be oil it could be you know, natural resources. It could be the, the agriculture, the food. You know, uh, Israel's rich in all that. Exactly like the they're shooting forth their branches. Exactly like Ezekiel 36 and 37 says would happen. Uh, you know, God is amazing. He he tells us what's going to happen before it happens. You know, so just wanted to share this with you guys. 1,400-year-old gold coins discovered in northern Israel. And this one's from Israel, Yay, Yay Home, uh, H A Y O M. So, um, but there's, I've seen it in some different other articles. So, yeah, could they be coming for a spoil that's talking about the gold and the silver? Um, apparently, there's a lot of it there. They just haven't, you know, I don't think they've 
discovered it yet, but there could be a lot of gold and silver in Israel. So we'll see what happens. It's just amazing to watch everything going on. And I believe we're going to see all this unfold and we're going to be a part of it. So I believe this is the generation that's going to see Jesus return. So, you know, stay tuned, pay attention, pay attention to Israel, pay attention to that whole area. Um, Israel and, and the surrounding neighbors, because that's where the main stage is being set for end time prophecy to take place. Watch Israel. It's all about Israel. And, you know, we're going to live forever in either eternal glory or eternal separation from God. And there's going to be a new Jerusalem. There's going to be the millennial kingdom that's coming. Um, that's where the stage is going to be set for this Ezekiel 38, 39 invasion where Antichrist will come on scene. He'll stand in the temple of God, claim to be God. we got the two witnesses that are going to come. we got the, they're going to begin to make animal sacrifices again over there. Uh, the Jewish leaders, the priests. So um, things are happening and things are converging and we're watching all this begin to play out. So silver and gold, is that what the spoil is that they're going to come to take? Um, the hook and the jaws and he's going to turn them back. So, you know, pay attention because things are getting interesting. Things are converging all at once. And we know it's almost been 2,000 years since Jesus ascended on high. So, a lot going on. So, stay tuned. Stay encouraged. Fight the good fight of faith. Um, we know Jesus is coming again. And so, and we know we have a heaven to gain and a hell to escape. So, you know, God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Love God with all your heart. And love your neighbor as yourself. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Have a wonderful day. God bless.